what if there was a way to protect yourself from browsing to malicious websites or unsuitable contents for your family or company? Contents that might compromise your online security or infect it with viruses. The good news is such a way of protection exists and it's called WebSafe. Welcome to FiberWatch, I'm Tim Tai Kirui. Today we speak to Paul Ngumi, a web developer from Jami Telecommunication Limited, to learn more about WebSafe and how useful it is for particularly the parents at home and business enterprises. When you visit our self-care portal, you'll be able to find a WebSafe option. It's a product by JTL that helps uh, our customers to be able to control uh, the content that's accessed on the internet. And uh, if you have uh, more than one service with us, you can be able to uh, activate WebSafe for a particular service that you're using. What happens is uh, on the background, uh, when a user wants to visit a particular website, they type in a URL, www.examplewebsite. Um, but before the website is loaded, uh, if they have enabled WebSafe, um, it, the system checks, is this website falling under a category of blocked items? And if it falls under that category, then access is denied to that page. Yeah. It is uh, an important uh, tool uh, because um, in this age of uh, internet, uh, even nowadays, uh, kids are able to access the internet by means of their devices. Um, it's something that parents have great interest or concern in, in limiting the amount of uh, exposure their children get to the internet. So this will protect their kids from dangers and uh, uh, corruption as you can say. So that is one way it can help parents. And apart from the home, it also benefits businesses because um, it can improve productivity. For example, you can restrict access to certain time-wasting websites. So even from a business point of view, there is productivity benefit and also there is a block that you can implement such that uh, you block websites that uh, would have an impact on your bandwidth. For example, peer-to-peer uh, -peer websites where people may want to torrent on uh, company resources but by means of WebSafe, the IT administrators can be able to limit uh, access to such uh, websites that will be able to overall affect the bandwidth of the company. And also there's a security aspect because uh, WebSafe can also block um, websites that are known to be harmful, websites that are known to be dangerous, websites where by means of visiting them or interacting with them, you may have viruses uh, loaded onto your computer. So it can also assist in that aspect. When you uh, use our self-care portal, uh, if you have an existing account number and you are able to verify it, you are the administrator, and so the administrator of uh, our self-care account, uh, that is an uh, individual customer, is able to manage their own preferences. So one may choose to now adjust the settings as they wish, and this has to be done by means of a user account. So if it's apparent, they will be the only ones who have the, the, uh, the username and the password. Same thing for the business by the business administrator. Paul has clearly showcased how with WebSafe one gains advanced real-time protection against the theft of identity, intellectual property, sensitive data, as well as provide a gag to sites you don't want access to without your permission, whether at your organization or at your home place. It is easy to deploy and completely transparent to the user, requiring no changes to the application or client-side installation. It's a setting that once it's configured, you can set time limits. You can set it, for example, to be every day, and uh, it will be active every day. Or you can choose to set it for certain hours, maybe um, the evenings, you can say maybe between 6 or and 8 p.m. before the kids go to sleep. You can set a policy for that time. Yeah. So once you've configured it, it is active and it will always continue running. That's it for Fiber Watch. I'm Tim Taikiri. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye.